Managing multiple GSTI ends is easy with Visi. Managing different companies or branches with different GSTI ends is now simpler with Visi. Along with that, e-bill, e-invoice, and GST reconciliation can also be managed GST and wise. But this can be done only with an active BLS of Visi. Let us see its configuration in Visi. First of all, we will create a company and specify all other necessary details. After saving company details, you will be asked to create a super user. Create the super user and click save button. After that, a feature option window appears. To manage multiple GSTIs, we will go to Enterprise Features tab and here enable the option of multi branch details and click on branch details button. Now here, we will enter branch name. Here you can enter company short name or the state in which the company is lying. For example, we are specifying here branch name as Delhi because company is based in Delhi. Enable the option of create voucher series group, create user, create NC and click save button. Now specify other details such as company name, print name, address, email ID, Specify the state and now most important, enable the option of configure GST details and click on wet GST button. Here, specify the GSTI number of Delhi branch. So, Delhi branch has been created successfully with GST registration detail. In the similar manner, we will create another branch which is based in Goa. So we will enter branch name as Goa. Enable other options. Specify the company details such as company name, print name, address and enable the option of configure GST details and click on VAT GST. Specify Goa company GST and number. If you want to enable eBay bill and e-invoice option in this branch, enable these options and for automatic, click on GSP configuration and specify Webtel and Pinnacle user ID and password. Also, if you want to do GST reconciliation for this company, specify the GST portal username here, click save button to save this branch details. Now we will create a third branch named as Kerala, we will specify the company details, we will configure GST details, specify Kerala branch GST and number, enable eVable and e-invoice option for this branch as well and save this branch detail. After configuring for the branch GST registration details, now we will see how we can add transaction GST and wise. For this, you need to switch user and log in through the branch in which you want to enter the transaction. For that, a switch user button is given here or you can use short to key alt plus u. Now, we'll log in with the branch Delhi. We'll specify the username of Delhi and password. Now, we'll add a transaction by going to transaction sales. Enter all the necessary details and when we will print invoice, here you can see GSTIN number, branch name and address of Delhi branch is apparent. Now when we will check with the reports, any report you can view, we will check GSTR 3B report, here you can see Delhi branch GSTIN is apparent in this report. Next, we'll switch user and log in with Goa branch. We'll enter a voucher. We will generate eBay bill and e invoice for this transaction. Save the voucher. We'll generate e invoice automatically. Here you can see eBay bill and e invoice. And you can see the print eBay bill and e invoice. 
invoice next we'll print this invoice here you can see gstn number and company details of goa is appear we'll check for gstn 3b here you can see gstn number of goa branches appear company name goa if you want to file gstr return of goa branch you can click on gstr 1a return and can directly upload or can generate json file whichever is feasible next we'll log in with kerala branch here you can see kerala branch name gst and state is appearing we'll enter the transaction by specifying the necessary details when we'll print the invoice here you can see kerala branch gst and is appearing check for gst and rb kerala branch gst and is appearing branch name so in this manner you can manage multiple gst ions and can generate evil invoice for multiple branches if you want to view consolidated report of every branch then log in with the super user and while generating report select under select branch select all and generate the report so consolidated report of all the branches will be appearing here you can see goa delhi kerala all three transactions are appearing but only possible by logging through the super user so with this process multiple gstn can be easily managed with busy as compared to other software but make sure you have an active bls of busy in order to manage multiple gstns for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel